This is not a time to be loosening up. It could happen here. That's the message from an infectious disease expert as he warns the rest of BC could follow suit with the central Okanagan if we aren't careful. He adds moving the province into the next phase of its reopening could be entirely dependent on how the next two weeks go. We should all be a little concerned about the Okanagan. We should be really pushing to get as much vaccination as we can in there. And we should be locking down up there as much as we can to prevent the spread. Tom Koch is with UBC's Department of Geography and authored Cartographies of Disease. He has spent his career studying how disease spreads. And he says the latest declaration of a COVID-19 outbreak in the central Okanagan could be indicative of what's to come for the rest of BC. If we see a more general increase of cases of this variant over the next two weeks, or even the next week, then that will give caution to the other health districts and to the ministry on how quickly and how far we should go in terms of opening it up or should we back up. We're seeing a really sharp rise in cases. Uh, hopefully there's enough vaccination around that, you know, the relationship between cases and hospitalizations will change and will get a lot better. But still, cases tell us that there's lots of transmission, and that means the virus can get to unvaccinated people. Kelowna City Councilor Mohini Singh says she was surprised to hear her region was the focus of new restrictions. Uh, I'm extremely worried about the situation. Certainly, you don't want this to happen in your city or anywhere else for that matter. I know Interior Health is doing a lot, but the general feeling in the community is, uh, how could this happen? But it has, and there's a level of worry for all of us. It was nice to you know, see people's uh, smiling faces, so we just have to look for those smiling eyes now. Gordon Fitzpatrick runs Fitzpatrick Family Vineyards in Peachland. He is hopeful business will continue coming in during the summer months, despite the reinstated restrictions in his community. Most of our team is double vaccinated, and uh, so that gives you, um, you know, you feel better uh, about that. Um, and, uh, you know, it's, um, it's way better than it was last summer. Koch says we need to be ready to take more preventative measures to contain the spread of the virus sooner rather than later. The thing to do is to be proactive rather than reactive. And the pressure, of course, is for opening as fast as we can. And what we want to do is hold that pressure back while we make sure that we have this continue to be contained. In New Westminster, Ashley Burr, City News.